Hey guys, welcome back to Tying Tuesday. My name is Kyle. Today we are going to be tying the Dirty Bug Caddis. Um, this utilizes the Semperfly Dirty Bug yarn. I really do like this material. Kind of tie up some flies real quick, fill a box real quick. Let's get started. So the hook I'll be using today is an Arex FW531. And I also have a Killer Caddis glass bead in the midge size and the peacock color. Um, thread I'll be using today is a UTC 70 in black. I'm just gonna start my thread behind the bead here. Work my way down the shank. I'm gonna make a little bit of a taper here on this. Snip out my tag. Work on my thread. It's about right there. I'm gonna tie in my dirty bug yarn. This is in the color ivory. Started kind of behind the bead here. Lock that into place. And kind of just work it down the back of the shank there. Just like so, work my thread back up here. Just like that, there we go. Okay. I'm gonna Wrap this up towards the bead. Just touching wraps here. So about right there. Lock that into place. Snip out the excess here. And next material I'm going to be using is the peacock curl. I uh, usually like to trim the tip of this peacock curl. It's a little bit of a brittle material, so just be careful with it when tying it in. I'm going to start it right there. And just really wrap it forward here. Get a good little thorax on this. like so there lock that guy into place there trim that out give this a quick whip finish and we are all done like i said a super easy tie here um that dirty bug gun really helps the tying process go really quick tug, trim out my thread there. And then I also like to go in here and kind of trim up these buggy fibers here a little bit just to give it a nice clean look. Just like that. And there you have it, the Dirty Bug Caddis. If you like this video today, please like and subscribe. You can buy all these materials online at avidmax.com or come visit us in the shop. Thank you.